Hey everybody, today we're gonna to do a magic trick. I'm gonna show you how to convert a cheap Chinese paperweight into a genuine Garrett Turbo in three seconds. Watch. Not. Everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're talking magic, or not. This video is basically about a subject or a topic that a number of people have emailed me about and questioned me. Uh, some of the clients that come into our shop actually asked us a couple of questions regarding how do you determine whether a Garrett turbocharger, specifically Garrett, is a genuine Garrett or not. And I'm gonna go into, delve into this controversial topic uh, in a bit of detail today. So, as you've seen in the intro, I changed a Chinese paperweight into a genuine Garrett Turbo in three seconds. By doing what? Well, by changing a housing. And all I did was put a Garrett housing onto a cheap Chinese paperweight junk rotating assembly, and I now have what the market, who are not educated like some of the Turbo people, will assume as being a genuine Garrett because of the fact that there is the name Garrett written onto the actual housing. Now, I wanna give you some examples and share some of the posts that I found on Marketplace in South Africa by people advertising turbochargers, whether they are aware of it or not, as genuine Garrett turbos with a massive price when in actual fact they are nothing near a genuine product. So what I want to do today is I want to approach a specific model Garrett turbocharger known as the GT3582. R. You don't get a Garrett in the performance range of turbochargers, GT3582. There's no such thing. The GT3582 always has an R at the end and the R indicates roller bearing. The roller bearing turbo has a specific design turbine with a certain number of blades, quite a strong cutback on the turbine head, as well as a specific bearing housing. You will identify that after I've actually shown you pictures of these turbochargers, bearing housing, turbine head, etc., etc. Okay, so guys, I've got a, this is an old volume, volume five printed catalog from Garrett, and I wanna show you what a GT3582R looks like. This is what we call a GT3582R, R indicating roller bearing. And the catalog says, and you'll see it on your screen now, there'll be a digital image. And you'll see that at the top of the description, it'll say dual ball bearing and water-cooled CHRA, center housing rotating assembly. What I wanna do now, guys, is I wanna open up an actual GT3582R turbocharger with the same part number as you see in the catalog. The catalog's part number will be 714-568-5003S. That is the exact turbo I have over here. Let's open this box up now so I can show you what the actual contents of this box are. Hey guys, let's open this up so I can give you an idea of what a GT3582R looks like. Oh, it comes in plastic. Let's take this out. All right, first of all, that is a GT3582R. It is a roller bearing turbocharger, and you'll actually see that it says Honeywell on the, on the housing, the compressor housing. That is because Garrett was owned by Honeywell at a stage. They have changed their name four times during their life cycle. This is a genuine Garrett GT3582R. Notice it does not have a billet compressor. The GT3582R does not come with a billet compressor from the factory, from Garrett. Never has, doesn't, never will. GTX, genuine Garrett, will come with a billet compressor, 11 blade, that's the Gen 1. Gen 2 comes with a different number of blades, 10 blades, different size, also billet. Here is the bearing housing. Look carefully, guys, because I'm gonna be comparing this to other bearing housings that are floating around in the market claiming to be genuine Garrett. That is the oil inlet. There is a nameplate on this turbine, uh, on the uh, bearing housing, sorry, and it has exactly the same nameplate data as you saw on the sticker on the box, from the part number and the serial number, which is obviously grayed out for specific reasons. Uh, you have a water in or out. You have an oil out. You have a water in or out. This specific turbo is a T3 in, and a four bolt 
out. Take note of the turbine blade. Count the blades. And let me show you a turbine that is on its own, removed from a GT3582R. Count the blades, two, four, six, eight, ten blades. I'll hold it up like an ice cream cone. What I want you to look at is the cutback on the blade. Right, now I'm gonna show you what is floating around in the market. Have a look at the photograph of what you see on your screen right now. This is a turbocharger advertised on Marketplace in South Africa and it was advertised as a genuine Garrett GT3582 and it was being sold for 20,000 Rand. The turbine wheel installed in this turbocharger on your screen now looks nothing like the genuine version I've just shown you. Let's have a look at the compressor stage. The compressor which is on your screen now, will show you seven blades. It's a seven blade splitter, seven main blades, seven splitter blades. That is not a GT3582R Genuine Garrett because the Genuine Garrett is a six blade wheel. I will show you the original housing and original compressor wheel shortly. If you have a look at the bearing housing, the bearing housing, which is in the picture on your screen now, will show you an oil cooled bearing housing with no water ports. That is a T3 or T03 or T04B or T04E. Yes, it gets long-winded because it fits various models of turbocharger or a TBP4 model turbocharger bearing housing. It is not ball bearing. Therefore, this turbocharger is not a genuine Garrett GT3582. The turbine housing does not have the words Garrett cast on it anywhere. It has been modified, as you can see by the weld on the downpipe or the outlet where your exhaust connects. And you will see that the compressor housing says Garrett. It has got Garrett cast on the actual housing, making this a genuine Garrett? I think not. This is not in any way or form a genuine Garrett turbo, nor is it anything related to a GT3582R. What would somebody pay for a turbocharger like this? Not even 5,000 Rand. Okay guys, I want to give you another example of a, this is an exaggeration obviously, but I just want to show you what is happening out there. Here is another turbocharger which I'm holding in my hands, uh, which I'd like to put out there and see who knows their turbochargers. And I'm going to ask you guys to guess what turbo it is. I'll tell you what it is at the end of this video um, for those of you that want to play along and guess but I want to just get the other camera to zoom in now and actually give you a picture a close-up of this specific turbo and we'll go from there okay guys so is this a Borg Warner turbo look carefully at this turbocharger look at the bearing housing look at the turbine housing Right, let me show you what this turbocharger actually is. If you guys have watched my previous videos where we've exposed some of the other cheap Chinese copies of some of the Garrett turbochargers, you will remember what turbo this is. As I said, I'll only give you the answer at the end of the video. This is a cheap Chinese copy of a genuine Garrett. But now just because I've changed the compressor housing to a Borg Warner, somebody that doesn't know any better might assume that, well, this is a Borg Warner turbocharger. Not everybody is aware of all of the tricks and all of the unscrupulous things that are going on in the market. Hey guys, I wanna take this a step further. This is the Chinese magic trick that we uh, played with earlier. I wanna show you a little bit more detail into this so that you guys can get an idea of where the copiers are going. So this turbocharger is non-genuine, okay? Obviously, it doesn't say Garrett on it. If it said Garrett on the housing, cast on the actual housing, it would be counterfeit, illegal. The Chinese are well aware of what counterfeiting is and they don't do it. So they will make a copy, but they will remove the actual name. So this rotating assembly, 
If you look at the wheel, you'll say, oh, but that's a GTX Gen 1. Count the blades, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 blades. GTX Billets Gen 1 3071R. No, it's not. It might fit inside a Gen 1 GTX 3071R uh, uh, compressor housing, but this compressor wheel is non-genuine. Let's say we take this wheel off and we decide to disassemble this turbocharger. There is your bearing. As you can see, that's a journal bearing. Well, all the GT30s are R depicted. They are roller bearing. You do not get a GT3071 or a GTX30 family turbo that is not ball bearing. However, let's look at the shaft. This is a copy. The turbine head, guys, the turbine head. Forget about the shaft. The shaft over here, forget about. I'm referring to the casting of the turbine head only is a copy of the GT30 family. Now, for those that don't know, the GT30 family have got approximately four different size turbine head blades. I'm referring to inducer, exducer, and tip height. That's for another video. However, this turbine head has been friction welded to a shaft which fits into a journal bearing, bearing housing, like you saw on the advert earlier. Oil in, oil out. No water ports. This is the bearing housing I refer to that fits your T3, T03, T04B, T04E, and TBP4 family turbochargers, Garrett turbochargers. It is a copy of the Garrett. There are ways to, to check that once you've removed and disassembled the rotating assembly, which is for another video. However, let me just play devil's advocate. There's a heat shield. It has a T3, genuine T3 turbine blade. Okay, let's compare these next to each other. I'm talking about the turbine heads, forget about the shafts for now. Cut back, 10 blades, very, very slight cut back probably half of the angle degree cutback of the copied, uh, copied Chinese version of the GT30. And two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 blades. This is a 10 blade, that's an 11 blade. Totally different design, nothing the same. However, the shaft is journal bearing. And I'm referring to where the electron beam weld with the genuine Garrett's, that don't use friction welding, to the end of the shaft. All these dimensions, air oil separator, ring groove, bearing running face, compressor installation section, radius, thread, etc., etc. Okay? Identical to that of the copy of the GT30 turbine. Identical dimensions from the weld to the end of the shaft. Okay, so this should fit into here. I just want to line everything up. Everything is loose. As you can see, shaft goes in. Okay, so let's assemble this. Great stuff, forget about the housing or the name of the housing. Well, what turbo do we, let me get this mounted properly. Well, what turbo do we have here now? It's got a genuine Garrett T3 shaft and the rest is Chinese with a bullet compressor. So what exactly is this? I can tell you what it's not. It's not a genuine Garrett, period. All right, so let's change it up a bit. Let's go and put a T4 shaft in there, completely different size, and you have the same combination. Well, what kind of shaft, or should I say, what kind of turbocharger is that now? Well, once again, I can tell you what it's not. It's not genuine Garrett. Let's compare the genuine Garrett GT3582R turbine from where the friction weld, should I, should I say, from where the electron beam weld starts, ring groove, air oil separator, and the profiles of which there should be six, one, two, three, four, five, six, to the end of the shaft are entirely, completely different to a journal bearing. From the length, watch here. And what I'm gonna do is just tap the shaft over there to one profile, different size, different size, different size, different size, different size. The ball bearing shaft is nothing like 
the journal bearing shaft because it runs with inner races that are press fit, two of them in a full complement angular ball bearing configuration with two ball grooves on either side, one on either side, and cages as well as an outer race which fits inside of the bearing housing. The bearing housing is a completely different design as well. You saw pictures of the genuine Garrett earlier. This specific shaft is different to this, however, the design of the heads have been copied and made, in this case, into a journal bearing version. This is a genuine Garrett turbine housing, or half of one. It says Garrett on it. It's cast with Garrett on it. Yes, you still get some of the guys copying them and casting the names which are counterfeit, but they're starting to die away because there are serious repercussions and people are actually getting locked up for this. Here is a non-Garrett turbine housing. This is a cheap Chinese paperweight. No Garrett name cast anywhere on this housing. This is Garrett, this is not. This is Garrett, this is not. This is Garrett, this is not. I think you get the picture. Okay guys, so in closing, this video is basically a beware before you buy. It is an educational video. It's not to slander anybody, it's to expose what is going on out there. Be very, very careful. If you have your eye set on a turbocharger and you're not sure if it is a genuine Garrett or not, contact us. We will be able to verify it. The easiest way is to take photos of the turbo as well as the nameplate. Every single genuine Garrett performance turbocharger will have a nameplate on the bearing housing um, depicting the part number as well as the serial number and it will have Garrett, Honeywell, Air Research, Advancing Motion, whatever the case is on that nameplate. Once you've sent that to us, we will be able to verify with Garrett behind the scenes whether or not it is in fact authentic or not and we will be able to give you guys an answer. For those that were wondering what model and what turbocharger I had in my hands, if you didn't guess it, it's a Chinese copy. It has been reviewed in one of my other videos. Have a look on our, our YouTube channel. Is a copy of a G25 660. Really, really poor copy. Bearing system is atrocious. Couldn't even get consistent balance results on the VSR. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Catch you next time.